Hello my friends, today I want to make a bamboo fishing pole and put an actual fishing reel on it. And I could, um, th there could be like the way to do it like with actual fishing eyelets, but I want to do it actually uh, different. Um, I want to use safety pins for the eyelets and I want to put the fishing reel on it and have an actual working fishing pole. Um, so let's go ahead and I need to get a piece of bamboo right now. And I have this, so let's go ahead and take it. I'm here, I think this is gonna be a good piece. Right here. So let me go ahead and um, start. Get some of this off. And. All right. So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna wanna cut some of the tip off because I, I don't want it too flimsy. So let's go, let's see here. Um, maybe I'll just, let's see. Maybe I'll just cut it down about here. And then maybe I'll cut it closer with like an actual circular saw. Can they see good, right, right there, buddy? So. Okay, so there's that part. <laughs> Let me go ahead and uh, kind of trim it up. And I might have to do it better later as far as cleaning it up goes. Oh my goodness. Okay. <coughs> Let's get another one. That one's not going to work. Let's try this. Right here. All right, right here, and I wanna go ahead. Can they see in here, buddy? Bring it in here. <clears throat> so I wanna cut this around here. All right, <clears throat> might be some work to get this out. So I gotta get it out and I also need to trim it up. Now, last time I think I just kind of split this one a little too much. I need to be careful as I'm doing this. So, <clears throat> let's see here. But I wanna put an actual like fishing girl on it. And I might go ahead and do like a rough trim and maybe come back later and make it nicer. Okay, I don't want too flimsy of a tip. So, I'm gonna have to cut the tip off somewhere. I might come in and smooth it up more. Uh oh. All right. Okay. <laughs> so basically, for the tip. I don't want it to actually snap. Now, since I want to use an actual fishing reel, I should be able to set the drag so there's not too much, so the fishing pole doesn't get too much stress. But, um, so I may trim off some of the end, but I need to get just the right amount. So let's go ahead and um, cut it. Let's see here. Let's cut it about here and let's see what it looks like. All 
Okay. That's actually pretty firm. So the fishing pole is taking, uh, it's looking better, but I need to go ahead and trim it up a little bit more. Bamboo is really amazing. If you're going to uh, plant bamboo and like cut it out of the ground, <clears throat> like if you want to move it to grow up some, I highly recommend a sawzall. Like a sawzall blade may work. Just be careful and don't do it if you can't do it safely. All right, so <clears throat> this right here, I'm gonna need to do it. This isn't really good. So let's go ahead and look at this part. So I have a pin fishing reel actually. And um, I have a braid fishing line on the fishing reel. And um, you can let me know in the comments if you think it should be mono or braid. With uh, mono, there should be a little bit more stretch. Um, just cut this off um maybe not let's see all right see if I can clean it up a little bit more I don't really want the fishing line to get snagged on stuff. <clears throat> All right. So that's kind of long. Um, it's also not super straight. So I'm probably going to go and cut off this. Let me start by doing this and see what happens. Uh oh. Okay, let me do this right here. Okay. I might trim that up with an actual saw more, and I might go ahead and trim this up with an actual saw. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and put the, um, let's go ahead and, um, need to get it to a better length. Okay, so I have the bamboo pole here on the ground. It should be roughly one, two, three, four, five, roughly 15 feet right now. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it up a little bit. So let's take this saw and um, go ahead and give it a trim. All right, now let me see what it looks like. So I took off probably about two and a half feet or so. So there's a kind of like a natural curve right here. So let me go ahead and um, trim up. Let's see here, maybe right here, maybe right about there. Let's see what, let's do that and see what happens. Okay, so I have this right here. I'm six foot tall. So right here, this is about one, two, three. So that's about nine feet. So roughly 10, 11 feet. So let's come here. You need the natural curve um, like so. And I wanna go ahead and put, make the eyelets out of safety pins. So you should be able to use um, regular fishing eyelets, but for this video, I want to do safety pins. This might be something that someone actually has um, around the house. So I want to go ahead. Here's a safety pin. I want to go ahead and put a bend in it, um, like so, and I want to put them up. Okay. So let's go ahead and squeeze it tight like this, and go like this. <clears throat> and then 
I want to have the fishing pole um, kind of like so. Now there is something that um, I don't like about this. I want to go ahead and explain to you what this is. This is a spinning reel. Okay. I cut the video for a second. Since this is a spinning reel, that's kind of a small hole. So I am aware of that. So if you're going to do this, um, maybe you could rig up like a key ring or something on the bottom. Maybe you could rig up, um, <clears throat> put an actual fishing eyelid on the bottom. I wanna go ahead and see if I can do it with safety pins, okay? So that's what I want. So if the reel is about here, well, roughly about here, okay? So the reel should be about here. Let me go ahead and put a piece of tape where the reel should be. I have electrical tape. Um, let's see here. I might need to like have it marked here. Okay. <clears throat> the, um, let's see, right here, the reel should probably be about here. All right. So then I want to go ahead and put, I do want them lined up. So my first eyelet, since it is a spinning reel, I might go ahead and have it up a little ways. Okay. Now there's like different ways that I could do to fasten this. I wanna try it, um, these type, to fasten um, the reel on. This is like one thing, if it was like on, right? And it was like, if this was on to do that, I want to go ahead and use, um, I wanna try zip ties and see if that works. So right here, if this, get the uh, bend here, so right here, and then this is a really small hole. I understand that. I understand it's a spinning rod. Maybe it would be better for a casting rod, but let's go ahead and um, try it and see, um, see what happens, okay? Um, now I might put tape on this as well. So this is the first eyelet. Now, okay. So go ahead. I might do another one on here as well. Um, okay, so there's the first one. Let's go ahead and make the next one. Here we go. Um, I actually might need to have it a little bit further up off. Hopefully that's um, good the way it is. So here we go. Take this, take a zip tie, and I do want to be like in line with the curve of it. So let's go ahead and come up here. Um, this might be a good spot right here. But this might be something if you like, maybe you have a reel and you're like, hey, I want to go fishing. I want to make a rod. Uh, maybe you don't have a rod, and you're just, or maybe you just want just for like, whatever. Maybe you just want to be creative or something. This might work out well for you. Okay. So does that look right to you? Okay. So I may come in later and trim that stuff up. Um. But if you wanted to do it more professional, you could probably use eyelets, like actually go buy eyelets. Um, they're not too expensive. And you could um, put thread, maybe some braid fishing line on there. Uh, maybe you could use glue, paint, nail polish, something to hold it in place. Um, just go here, boom. Um, all right. So we want to, I want to stay like kind of in line. Um, I really don't want it to snag, but let me just, let me just go here. But it's kind of cool to like have a bamboo fishing pole with an actual fishing reel on it. I have a pin battle reel and it has, um, it has braid fishing line on it. Um, 
it might work better to have mono. Just tell me in the comments, please, what you think. Okay, this mono has the stretch. All right, so it'd be nice to have the straightness factor. All right, there's that. So this hasn't been taking um, super long to do. Um, by the way, if you like what I'm doing, can you please give it a uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. <clears throat> I love you all. God loves you. And he has a plan and a purpose for your life. Um, and you should uh, ask God. You should say, God, why am I here? What is my purpose? Please tell me in Jesus' name. Amen. And um, Okay. So here's this one. Let's go ahead and get another one. Um, and I may put extra zip tie ties on. Okay. So this looks like there's a little bit of a hump, but I don't want it to rub. Basically, I might put another one in there. So let's go here. Okay. And let's go ahead and um, it looks, maybe it needs shifted a little bit. Might be okay. <clears throat> and if you have a better idea of what to use for eyelets instead of actual fishing eyelets, um, please let me know in the comments below. But I bet you this could catch a fish. And maybe I'll do a video. I'm showing myself catching a fish. Um, maybe I'll do that. I might, uh, I might put a possibly put a video in the um, like an add-on. Um, in the description, maybe in the description, maybe not. Maybe I'll put it in the end screen, but um, let's just see what happens. So here we go. Um, okay, this looks like it's coming undone. Whatever, let's just go with it. Maybe I'll just cut that off. Or maybe I'll just put it there. Let's see it. Let's see it go. So this might help you all if you're just wondering like, hey, can I make a fishing pole? So let's see how this thing works. Um, I might try, I might try casting it. See how it casts. All right, so let's get the uh, the end. Um, let's get the end in, and about here. Um, all right. Okay, so we got that. <clears throat> um, I might go ahead and put another one on right here, just because. Um, let's see here. Here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and put another one here. Let's put another one here. Um, another one here. All right. And all right. I want the reel on. Um, okay, let's go ahead and put the reel on. Okay, now hopefully it'll work with these small eyelets. Let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and get um, 
before I started and um, let's put it right here all right okay let's not do it too tight um, let's not do it too tight let's go ahead and Okay, now, so it's about here. Okay, this might come, I really, it really actually might need a bigger eyelid at the bottom, but let's just try it with the safety pin. Now let's put this here. Um, kind of do like, okay. Um, kind of to hold these together. And let's come here and push this through if you guys like this please consider subscribing like comment subscribe share I really appreciate it okay so we got that let's have these tightened um, let's go ahead and put another one on and then let's put this one on so there we go I may come through and clip these okay so got the fishing uh, reel um, now I need to also take the string and run it up. Um, I may need to go ahead and put tape on the end here. And where would a, let's see here. Um, I need to cut this. Okay, go ahead and, uh, stop. okay, I have a knife here. Let's go ahead and, uh, it would be better to probably to have like a pair of snips. But let's go ahead and do this for the knife. All right. The knife appears to be working fairly well. You guys, um, please consider subscribing, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, please. If you can think of a way to do this better, please put it in the comments below. And if you like that, like it, please let me know. All right. So pretty much that's good for there. Now let's go ahead and trim off here. All right, so there we go. For that, the fishing reel is pretty much done. Um, I do want to put the line through it. I want to go ahead and um, do this though. Okay, so. Go ahead. So there we go for that let's go ahead and take wow that's a pretty uh here get it get a look get a look so from the reel going up let me see that so wow yeah i've done quite a bit of fishing <clears throat> i think this is really good i do think there's a possible um problem um with, let me get the drag tightened down. Okay, I think there's a possible problem with the first eyelet. That's what I think, because it's so small and it is a spinning reel, okay? So think about that. If you're gonna be building one, 
Um, and okay, hold on a second. Just go ahead and pull off some. Some of this might be uh, weaker. May have sat in the sun a little bit. Let me get some of the first and stuff. So what I might do is I might just go ahead and put on um, mono on here but let me see if i can get it so it's sturdier okay maybe getting to that point all right let's go ahead and take cut come under come up and start So, here we go, put it through the hole. Here we go. Now this might not function quite as well as a fishing rod you would buy in the store, but for something to throw together pretty quick, um, it's pretty cool. They, um, Many people might have zip ties and safety pins around their house. Um, so here we go. Okay. And if you are like really like wanting to, you might even be able to use the safety pin to like even make like a hook or something. Um, you might even be able to make some kind of like a safety pin out of a hook if you were like really, really trying to do it. So, um, yeah, let's do this. Take a safety pin, maybe come in like this, come in, bam, and just kind of make a hook out of a safety pin. And um, maybe you'd have to have it bent more than that. But um, yeah, you should be able to, you might have to work on your bending. But if you were really trying to be like, really use the safety pin, and then maybe like cut it like right here or something and just use that or something possibly. So, but, um, okay. So we got the line strung. Um, very nice. So can you get a angle, um, showing the line up in the right here? They can, can you see the fishing line going up, go back a little so they can see the whole pole. So here, so I want to go ahead and put a weight on it and I want to go ahead and try to cast it with the weights. So let me go ahead and uh, tie a weight to it and be right back. Friends, I have this weight here. Let me go ahead and um, try to slide it through. There we go. So what I might do is tie a weight on it first and just try casting it and see what happens. And um, maybe I'll put a lure on it after that and cast it and see what happens. Maybe I'll do another video fishing with it, all right? Um, okay. So let's go ahead. And I pretty much want to cast it and see like what happens if I cast it. So, um, so here I have, um, can you get a good shot of the fishing pole and the showing a lineup? Can you all see that? And the way the line goes up. So, this feels pretty stout. Let's go ahead and take it out here. And I basically want to try casting it. Um, <coughs> let's go ahead and um, you open the gate here and come out. <clears throat> Let's come out here. Okay, 
So this is not super like flexible like a fishing pole, like on the end, but um, there we go. So let's go ahead and let me wait till that car goes. So um, hey, uh, watch out. So wait for this car to go by. Hopefully it'll cast right with the safety pins. It worked. Let me go ahead and like reel it up here. So it actually works. Show uh, show this front, uh, this one right here. So it actually works. Um, it is a success. Um, <clears throat> probably have multiple like poles like some like thinner and stuff let's go ahead and I uh, cast it again um, wow that actually went a long ways so it seems to reel pretty good show the eyelet right here show the eyelet seems to work pretty good actually um, Now, casting a lure with this style of a pole uh, might not be the, the best, but I wanna go ahead and put um, a lure on and see how that works. So let's come right back to the lure. Okay, so I went ahead and tied a uh, lure on. Um, there's still this, but it's not like I'm actually fishing right now. But see, I have it there. Um, can they get a good look at it? So I'm gonna go ahead and try to cast this. Now, this is kind of a stout pole and this is um, not really heavy. So it's not like a super wavy, like a little one. So I just kind of keep that in mind. Um, this shouldn't probably be tangled. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and It worked. Let's go ahead and uh, reel it up. So this seems to work pretty good. Um, <clears throat> it does. Um, any any questions, comments? Please leave them. Um, if you have a better idea, please leave it. Um, yeah, it seems to work. It's pretty cool. Um, I might actually, uh, I might take this thing fishing and catch a fish with it. Maybe do another video. So anyways, <clears throat> my friends, I love you all. God loves you. And um, thank you so much for watching this. And um, let me know what you think. God loves you. Bye.